How do you practical patriots and practical preppers? Yachatig, Rural South Texas. Hey folks, Johnny Practical Nurse. Just wanted to show you a couple of things here really quick. Hold on just a second. I know he's back there somewhere. I'm going to make sure he's not in the, in the behind the target. Okay, I found him. He's off to the side now. <laughs> okay. Always check down range, folks. Safety first, safety always, okay? Anyway, let's get back with this. Let me show you all something here that I saw. And uh, also want to show you what I do with my shotgun here. My 12 gauge here. Make sure it's open. We're safe. Nothing in the chamber. This is it. All nice and painted up. I showed you all this little four in the other day and decided I wanted to paint it, modify it, took some of the rail off this one so I can get my hands on there better. And <laughs> wanted to show you how I use this because I'm watching people do some defensive reloads and I don't negate or say that what they're doing is wrong, but I'm gonna show you my method because mine is more geared towards like people my age, uh, over 50 when Arthur comes calling in and Motrin and Ben Gay becomes your best friends and probably some of the ladies because this is something that I showed them that some of them like to use all right 12 gauge shotgun homestead defense home defense however you want to put it probably one of the shortest barrels that you could legally find okay watch this now I'm gonna load this thing up and explain to you as I go why I do it this way I don't use one of those little saddles that go over here because I kind of to me that's a little bit uncomfortable doing the reload seems like to me it's just a little bit too much twisting and turning so i have what i call this buttstock uh shell holder i call it a sock <laughs> actually people ask me uh and you can get this off amazon i found this one at walmart and i'll try to remember to include a uh, a link in the item description hold on i'm putting the wrong shells in there for demonstration here uh today i'm going to be using just some number eight birdshot but i will show you what also i keep in mind for homestead uh, defensive purpose use all right so this right here just number eight sh bird shot right here target shot nothing fancy folks again whatever I can find on sale you know whatever the cheapest stuff that there is all right let me show you what they're teaching people to do and I'm going to show you how I do this all right let's say you're in a, in a situation click no bang okay rack that thing open what they're teaching is to hold the shotgun like this with this wrist okay Pull the shell from above or below, whichever is comfortable, put it in your hand, throw it in there, and rack it, okay? Not negating that. Not negating that at all. It's just for somebody like me who's older, okay, holding it like this, all right, uh, starting to feel the tingle, starting to feel the burn there, okay? Old Arthur's come creeping in, okay? Doing twisting, turning, putting it like this, throwing it in there. Okay, seems like a lot of movement for me, okay? It just does. So let me show you how I do this. Set that down. All right, again, we're going to say this. Click, no bang. Slide it open. Watch. Okay, this hand right here. This hand right here. That hand right there. That hand holds it. Feel how more stable that is up against your shoulder, okay? Turn, observe your chamber, okay? Pull it out of the sock like this and just drop it in. You're ready to rock. Look at that. That's all you have, that's the only motions that you have to use. Now, ladies, because you have beautiful curves, okay, <laughs> this is what I recommend they do, okay? And you might be a little, I'm six feet tall, folks, so I have a little bit of length here, all right? But ladies, maybe a little shorter, maybe not, okay? Or gentlemen, you can do this too. Put it down here, right on top of your hip, all right? Put this back here for demonstration purposes, all right? Turn it just like that. Again, all you're doing is putting it in, dropping it in, okay? And if, you have, if you're out, start, start pumping rounds, start pumping shells in there, okay? If you've shot two shells and you're still around, like hugging corners and whatnot, put two shells in while you got that break, okay? But you are still in a pretty much defensive, you can still shoot that way, all right? No question about it, you can still shoot it that way. Basically, folks, where my distance is is 35 feet at this very moment, okay? And I want to show you all that. Again, let me show you one more time. Whoops. Pull this one right here. Again, all you're doing, folks, okay, all you're doing is just reaching and pulling, dropping it in, doing that. That's all you're doing, okay? To me, that's a lot simpler from a product that on uh, Amazon is less than $5. And I'll try to remember to include a link in the item description if I haven't said that already, okay? This is so cool. <laughs> all right. All right. So let me show you why I do this like this right here. If you put it flush, it's kind of hard for me to get my fingers in there. So I will pick them up about the level of where I see the brass or the steel so I can get my fingers in there again and drop it in. 
just like that okay folks nothing let me let me grab my shells here bear with me y'all okay just like that just like that nothing fancy folks now before i demonstrate how i do this i want y'all to see what it is i keep in my in my rifle here okay i'm uh, sorry my shotgun what i like about a shotgun is you can use all kinds of different loads in there the first one that i put for my homestead defense one is a number four now this one's a rio uh, much thanks to not in load and land passes chris you're awesome thanks for turning me on to this this is number four game load okay high brass all right there's that that's the first one that goes in that one's in the, that's one locked in the chamber then i'll use whatever folks whatever double up buck i can get my hands on be it cellular below uh remington <laughs> suprema whatever is on sale folks that I, that's affordable for me okay but that's what i loaded up that's what i keep this thing loaded with all times now in my buttstock sock right here let me show you what i keep in there i will keep three of these winchester pdx 112 shells at the ready and then after that i will keep two deer slugs now folks as a trauma nurse i'm going to tell you this ain't nothing walking away from that okay i don't care where you hit it ain't nothing walking away from that when it comes to the defending your homestead your family yourself spend a little i will tell you this folks spend a little bit extra cash on there okay on that type when you've got to reach for what is left in that sock get the good stuff okay <laughs> now let me show you how i do this okay i'm gonna try to get out of the way of the targets here uh excuse for a little bit of darkness got a little bit of overcast well it's still 90 something degrees out here though but just for y'all i'm gonna do this so down range i got a few targets and i want to kind of show you how this works again all right click no bang open it up okay go drop that one in and we're ready to rock okay just like that ready click no bang reach in grab a shell open up that choke okay drop it in you're ready to rock all right if you have used more than one if you have used more than one start pulling them out start pulling them out you're empty nothing start pulling them out okay load it load it quick all right i'm just trying to make sure y'all can see me here okay again i got my rifle pointed down range i got it where i can see it again folks if you want to use this method that's fine here we go look out jacques all right ta-da there you have it all right this rifle i'm sorry <laughs> this shotgun i call them all rifles this shotgun holds five rounds in the tube one in the chamber okay so maybe this might be something you might consider getting when you want to add another firearm to your homestead defense uh, weapons collection okay just just for that folks just for that but i just wanted to show you that folks because to me it just seemed like an easier method questions comments leave them below until i see y'all again i'm johnny the practical nurse out here